What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol, back with another video today. We're going to be taking a look at the animated figures from Sideshow Collectibles. We've got Anakin, we've got Obi-Wan. Today, Anakin, tomorrow, Obi-Wan. Let's check them out. That's right guys, we're back. Hope you guys are doing well. I uh, just got these delivered uh, today and I figured we'll take a look at them. And I figured we'll start with Anakin and then we'll take a look at Kenobi a little later on. And there's a lot of discussion going on about what's going on with these figures. Is Are they are they good? Are they bad? Are they worth the money? All that kind of fun stuff. And I think we gotta, we gotta determine that, right? We gotta figure out, are these something you should pick up? Um, and it's, it's going to be an interesting journey as we go along the sideshow on this animated Clone Wars lineup they're doing, the one six scale. Um, I do like the box art. I think it's pretty cool. The question on the table has to be, though, we got to determine this, is for the price point. I know some people don't like to talk about price, but I, I think you got to. You got to. You have to talk about price uh, when in relation to these figures, the cost and the value. Because if you have, if the, if the value's not there, then you, you wouldn't buy them. If these were $5, you would pick them up. They're not $5. They're 260 some odd dollars plus taxes, plus shipping, plus whatever else. Uh, so they're not $5. And so therefore price enters into it and we cannot avoid it. We have to talk about it. But first let's take a look at the Anakin Skywalker figure and see, is it a good figure? And then we'll determine, is it a good value? So let's go get the box. Uh, Obi-Wan, I'm sorry. Uh, you got to get out of here. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at... The box art for uh, Anakin. Actually, pretty nice box art. I'm kind of pleased with this. This is pleasant night. It's a, it's a departure from Star Wars land, which we're normally seeing as just a black box and then whatever. Um, but we do have uh, Anakin looking right there. Got a nice little side box there and then a, a portrait. This is actually the figure and they got some battle droids in the background, which I would not be super upset if they reissue some battle droids. I think it'd be pretty cool, um, but there it is. So pretty nice, uh, but we don't buy boxes. Or at least some of us don't. <laughs> some some of us, uh, I say us, some of you collect shipper boxes and evidently that's a thing. Uh, these did come in a shipper box, so there's that. Uh, and I have uh, just briefly looked at these uh, when they got delivered. Uh, so uh, just give you a heads up on that, uh, but they do come just like this. And uh, there's that. And uh, what I was curious about was, did they arrive in one piece or did they arrive broken like some others have already reported? That was kind of scary. Uh, Satchu does like to put these little cardboard bands on these things. I'm not a fan of these things because they're just a pain in the ass to get off. Or if you want to package it back up, honestly, they're a pain in the ass to get back on. But there's that anyways. Uh, so to get you out of here, there's two trays. There's a top level, a bottom level. Bottom level has the usual sideshow garbage uh, display stand, which evidently they can't be bothered to improve upon. We get some hands. We'll take a look at those in a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at the figure. Uh, the lack of accessories for this and the price point is definitely a factor in the, uh, in the value per dollar here. So we got that. We have an Ahsoka. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. So I'm zoom in on here just real quick. Like we have an Ahsoka hologram, which is uh, as translucent. You can see it right there. It's all right. Uh, it's very, very lightweight, which honestly makes sense. Uh, the paint applications on this, they're okay. I have a feeling those might break over time, but we'll see how it goes. It's okay. It's okay. There's some little wash going on with that. It's not bad. It's okay. Throw. I mean, is it a necessary piece? No, not really. Uh, we do have uh, two different hilts. We've got one unlit hit hilt, and we've got one lit hilt. We'll take a look at those. If I can get them out of the packaging uh, or not. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And then we've got the figure, which I'm just going to pick them up by the robe. And uh, that's all you get in that tray. So let's figure out, is this good? Is it bad? Good question. All right, let's get the plastic bits off of this guy. And we got some plastic on the hands. We get the plastic off the hands. Uh, there was plastic on the feet. I took that off earlier, uh, but that's pretty much been the extent of my... Uh, experimentation with this particular figure. So first impressions, first impressions. I, I think that matters because when you open a box, you want to say, did I make a good decision? Did I make a bad decision? Like what happened? Uh, it's got some nice weight to it. It doesn't feel uh, too lightweight. It feels like it's got some some heft to it. So that's that's nice. Uh, it doesn't feel like a, 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 the General Grievous, which had 
I, you'd think General Grievous would be heavier than this, but I think this is actually heavier than Grievous. Um, the robe is a nice texture. I don't have an issue with that. Uh, the stitching lines are very, hang on, let me zoom in. The stitching lines are obvious all the way throughout this thing, which is a little bit, it kind of takes you out of the uh, out of the character, out of the scene, you know, for a minute uh, with a stitch line going all the way down the front. Like you would think they would have tried to hide that um, somehow, but they didn't, so whatever. Uh, stitch line here. It's almost like if you got into like a sports car and you wanted the... Um, Contrast stitching, like that's kind of what we've got going on here. It's kind of, there's very prominent. So that's that's one thing. But the material itself feels nice. Uh, it's got a nice weight to it. Uh, so I'm okay with that. The head sculpt, let's take a look. Oh, I guess we should get, we should probably get the plastic piece off the neck. Let's pop that off. Oh, it came off relatively simply. That's good. Let's get you back on there. Uh, come on. There we go. So the head sculpt, here we are. What are you guys' thoughts? on this head sculpt. Let's take a look at it real quick. To be honest with you, I this is way better in person than it looked like on Sideshow's live streams. And I will absolutely give blame to whoever at Sideshow thought it was a good idea to do a live stream presentation of this in their quality of video that they were transmitting. That was a mistake on the marketing department. Hopefully they'll never do that again. Um, but it actually looks pretty good. He's got a little bit of a a little bit of paint applications on the face, not a whole lot. I mean, this, I'm glad, and I was worried about this. I'm glad that it's not overly glossy on the skin texture because I thought that would make it look very toy-like. So there's a proper amount of sheen going on there. I don't have an issue with that. Uh, it looks like Anakin from the series, so I don't have an issue with this sculpt. I think it looks pretty stinking good. Uh, the hair, uh, there's little to no paint applications going on the hair. And it's got the nice little spiky animated hair. This is, I, I'm okay with this. I am okay with the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty uh, accurate representation to what it's supposed to, kind of dig it. Uh, there's a little bit of a, uh, a mascara guy liner effect going on with that. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel. I don't know that, I think I can give that a pass. I don't think it's, here's how close can we get. You guys can make your, what do you think of that? It's got a little bit of guy liner going on there. It's it's one of those things like with animated you've got a you've got a balance between what looked like in an in an you know animation cell uh, versus you know transmit to a you know three dimensional object so yeah I'm a, I'm okay with the expression I think is good uh, I mean from that angle right there obviously it's Anakin uh, if we move around this angle that's definitely a side profile of Anakin so I'm I'm okay with that uh, I'm gonna pop this robe off if I can let's see if I can do this because I want to take a look at the suit underneath. Again, the, the, the cloak here, it's actually not bad. Kind of dig it. Is there a wire anywhere? That's the question. Uh, no, there's no wires anywhere. I may add one, but there is not one. Interior is unlined. It's unfinished. Um, so, you know, that's kind of a letdown, but it's okay. It's like, it's like a little like a microfiber or a suede kind of material. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'll look at the figure. So I did say that I looked at this briefly earlier, and it, I think that looks so much better with the cloak off. It really does. Like the proportions, I think, look a little better. Anyways, uh, we'll get into that in just a second. But there, there it is. What do you guys think? I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyways, the uh, one thing I was noticing earlier is uh, if you have this uh, shirt down a little bit, like there's a noticeable, I guess, is noticeable difference in skin. So you got the neck, you got the head, and then you got like the body. And it's, eh, I don't know, it's it's almost painted. I guess you just want to make sure the shirt's up there. I guess that's one thing. Uh, stitching on the shirt up here, this little t-shirt material's got under there. Again, the stitching, I think, is something Hot Toys wouldn't do. Uh, there's like this ribbed, uh, I don't know, design or texture to the undershirt. That's a little strange. Uh, but the colorations, I think, look good. Like in person, like proportions look good. He's got broad shoulders. He's got... Uh, pinch waist. I think that looks good. Uh, the material here, uh, that's pleather. That is 100% going to be an issue. We know Sideshow figures, and not even Sideshow, just pleather in general. Uh, it's going to be an issue uh, with that. So nice paint applications there. Got some silver. Got a uh, spot for the hilt, which I'm, I would not use that. And, and I'll tell you why. 
Uh, this belt right here is, so you've got the, like the cummerbund section right here, and then you got this other pleather piece on top of it, which is super thin. And you go put this hilt, which it will do, uh, this little hook right here, you put the hilt right here. You do that enough times, you're gonna break that, 100% gonna happen. Just, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Um, you got Velcro on the back. This looks really unfinished. Like there, this is, this is un, this, like if you look at a, a, a Hot Toys figure, you would see that they would have an overlapping piece, right? And so they would have like a piece of pleather or whatever, and it would come over to this side and it would cover up that gap. This is unfinished, this is weak, um, that's stupid. All right, um, this material right here is, is that pleathery material too, and it, there is a wire, so that's kinda cool. I love the coloration. Like I gotta I got be honest with you, I really do like the colors on this thing. The colors they chose, the, the undershirt, uh, the t-shirt material, the, uh, just all the colorations I think look great. So this is a big fan of that. Uh, double bend on the elbow, thank you very much. That was one of those things that they wouldn't answer for the longest period of time, don't know why. Um, but I, I do dig that. And is there a double bend on the knee? Oh, hold on. Whoa, wait, that knee's weird. Hold on. All right, all right. Are we gonna have a double bend? Oh. All right, so that's as far as the knee. Surely it goes more than that. Am I hitting something? Uh, that's about as far as that knee wants to go. I don't want to force it, so. That one wants to go a little bit further. So maybe, we'll see. It might. It feels like the like the suit material of the undersuit padding is actually getting in the way. So I don't know that that's really an issue, just getting the padding out of the way. Um, yeah, but one thing I noticed is uh, when I was actually messing around with this thing earlier, uh, I wanted to see, because a friend of mine actually got his in the other day, uh, and he said his hips uh, were broken, the joints were bad. And so I was like, well, I'm certainly not gonna be happy with that, so let's see what's up. So I kind of messed with mine. This is mine, if I take mine, Look at this. So this is what you might expect. Now I'm used to this with other sideshow figures. This is not a shocker. I, I'm not a hundred. I'm not at all like surprised by this situation. Um, but there's your like this. I forget this one right here. Is it going to do the same thing? Yeah. All right. So I'm wondering, and we'll have to do this. Um, there's there's probably a screw or something here, a bolt in here. We can tighten down to tighten up that joint, and that might be all we got to do. His actually had a cracked abdomen like this straight this just broken fractured abdomen and uh so i don't uh i don't know so i have already reached out to sideshow to see what they would do about this i sent them video of the footage of the uh of the leg doing its thing so we'll hear back from them uh whether or not they decided to replace it or whatever or if it even needs replacing uh, if i take that off and there's a, a screw to tighten then that's fine too that's, but should we have this at that price point <gasps> No, obviously we should not. Uh, so there's that. That's just something I got to deal with. Uh, the boots are freaking awesome. I love this, man. The paint applications and the sculpt and image looks straight out of the animated series. So I, I mean, for accuracy and representation of the show, I think they nailed that. I think they did a really good job. And I love, look, split boot. Now I'm curious to see how strong those joints are going to be. If we want to do some action poses, right? That might be a thing. But um, I kind of dig it. We've got some uh, gauntlets here on the uh, on the wrist. That's a very mobile wrist joint. Right there, it's got two fists on there, but uh, got one on there. And then this one's a little different, a little different design on this side. Um, I kind of dig this. So the question we've got to determine, again, is it a good value? Uh, that's something we're gonna keep in the back of our mind. Can we pose it up with a hold of pose, right? Let's see if we can do this real quick, like, without changing up any accessories, right? We don't want, I don't really want to mess with any two. Uh, is it going to stand? That's what I want to see. It stands, so that's good. That's a good thing, right? Um, yeah, so it's it's standing. I can't fault it for that. That's pretty cool. That's, okay. The hilt. We got a couple of those. Again, we got one with the uh, blade out and you got one without. Uh, this one also has the little hook right there if you want to connect it to the uh, to the belt, which I do not recommend. Um, these are okay. These are cheap. These are, these are. Uh, I mean, these are not Hot Toys hilts at all. This is, I would say this is on the line of like a Hasbro Black Series hilt. That's what I would give this. Yeah, I, I, I'd say maybe some of the Black Series paint applications might actually be better than this. 
Um, they spent zero time on that. All right, let's see what's in here on the hands and accessories, the tray, the, the stand, if I can. Oh, there we go, get you out of here. Uh, normal sideshow uh, couldn't be bothered to design a display stand deal. Oh, they put Star Wars on the back, so that's nice. And they, I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. If I made something this shitty, I would not put my name on the back. I mean, I just wouldn't, but that's just me. Um, this is, eh, whatever. This shows a lack of effort, like a lack of caring. That's what this shows. This shows I don't give a shit and uh, they'll just buy it anyway. So let's just throw this piece of shit in the box. That's what, that's what that is. That's garbage. Um, and this, I mean, I've, I've complained about these things for years. You'd think they pay attention. Um, let's get these hands out of here. All right, we got some hands. We've got, uh, looks like we got a couple uh, hilt Lightsaber holding hands. The uh, paint applications on these are nice. Got a nice little purple application going on there and the rest of them. Actually, the whole hand's kind of purple. Yeah, it's kind of a, a deep violet purple. Actually, all of these are. Uh, some saber holding hands. You got some uh, force gesturing hands. Not bad. And just like some relaxed, some relaxed hands. So uh, one question that somebody on Instagram, I think asked, or it's Instagram or Facebook, one of the two asked, um, how do the hilts work in the hands? Some people have been complaining that they're, they're not all that great. So let's just go ahead and test that theory. Uh, these are definitely a hard plastic. So hopefully we don't have to heat them up. I don't think we're gonna have to, are we gonna work? Um, yeah, that seems to work. Um, it's now, if, eh, yeah, I, depending on where you've got it in the hand, which I think makes sense for uh, just general purpose, but uh, it's definitely loose. But thankfully, he's got the switch right here. And if you get a little knob right there, if we get it in there at the right position, maybe we'll get a little better grip. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. So at that position, it, wouldn't, it won't uh, get loose. So yeah, not bad. All right. All that to say, what do we think about this thing? Obviously, we're gonna spend some time posing it and I wanna investigate what's going on uh, with this. Um, my initial thoughts are, I like the figure. Uh, I, I'm concerned about the, the loose leg thing. I'll have to figure that out. I like the figure. Um, uh, is it worth the price they're asking? No, it's not. Uh, would I go, just based on right now, My these are my first impressions of this thing. Based on right now, um, would I recommend you to go buy this at full retail price? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I think Sideshow will have these stuck around for a long period of time. I think they'll end up at one of their cons or events or whatever, and you'll get like 10% off, 15% off free shipping, that kind of deal. At that point, yeah, maybe. Um, you know, without spending the whole time posing it, you know, the, for me, the value isn't there for what they're charging. And I think that matters to collectors because you you only have a finite amount, well, most of us, I only have a finite amount of funds in the bank account. And we've got to determine where those funds go and you know how we're going to spend them. And um, you might spend $400 on an Iron Man figure, die cast Iron Man, you know, bought Battle Damage Mark 85, whatever. Um, or you're going to spend you know $300 on this because by the time you get it shipped to you, it's about 300 bucks. Uh, I was thinking it was 290 or right at 300 somewhere in there. Um, but... Uh, the the value for dollar is not here. Uh, Sideshow is trying to play in a league uh, with the other six scale figure manufacturers that they are not prepared to play in. So I'll put it in this analogy, like baseball, uh, I think they're in little league trying to play in the big leagues where they're called Hot Toys is the big leagues. Uh, in art might be in the big leagues. Well, to be determined, to be determined, Hot in art might be in the big leagues. They're certainly charging like they're in the big leagues, but we'll find out. Um, Hot Toys is still in the little leagues. They're still, you know, they might even be at T-ball right now. I don't know. Um, but should they be charging what they charge for this? No. So could I recommend it at full price? Absolutely not. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, so I would not do that. I would definitely rate heavily discounted and then I would pick it up. That being said, I do, I do like the representation. I do like the representation. I just don't like the price. And I think that matters. But let's get into the posing and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, so I was messing around with this. I told you guys I was gonna see if I couldn't tighten down the uh, the screws. On, on typical six scale bodies, they're uh, on the hip joint. 
There's a screw you can tighten down if you got loose legs, all kinds. Anyways, if you modify figures, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so anyways, I, I figured I'd showcase this because a lot of people are going, well, you can just change the body and put a Hot Toys body, you just switch the body. You 100% cannot do that. It, they, uh, Sideshow has purposefully, I can only assume purposely, purposely made it to where uh, body swaps are not gonna be a thing. Uh, let me explain. And uh, we're definitely gonna do the posing, I'm gonna do the best I can, but I, I feel like, you know, we're here, we might as well chat about this thing, right? Um, so uh, I was taking this guy down. Now, first thing, shoes, uh, they come off easily, no issues that. The one problem you got is the, the shin armor is attached to the body somehow. This is not coming off. Same thing to do with the forearm gauntlets. These are not coming off, okay? I don't know if they're super glued or epoxied or whatever. Uh, these are literally part of the body. Uh, so that's that that right there will negate any body swap right there this piece right there um, second uh, issue I had with this so I took for those wondering I took the uh, the belt unvelcroed that part pulled this back and then uh, took old Anakin pulled his pants down because you know just got to I guess to, to do what we want to do because I wanted to get to I guess I can just take this whole thing off if I want to at this point um, here I'll just take this off. I didn't need to, but I'll take you off. Um, forget, so we, those who might be interested in this. All right, uh, so there's this. Took his uh, pants, pulled those down here so I could get to here. Now, typically on a six scale figure, there will be a, if I do this, you will see these two pl plug tabs right there. There's a tab there, a tab there. Both those pop out and there's a screw in there, which you can tighten that joint, okay? now. You want to do that if you see like this seam right here, if you see that's super wide, then that you tighten that screw and that's kind of how this, it's, it's a friction fit. That's kind of how these are put together. Um, so you can do that. Now, upon trying to do that, something happened. This piece right here fell out of the figure. Now you might be saying, what the hell is that? And I, I did the same thing. Um, and then I, I noticed that, I mean, literally I had the guy like sitting down on the table like this, okay? Um, and I was like, what the hell is this? So I picked it up. Look at this. Uh, what happened is this whole section disconnected. Look, this is no joke. This is what's going on here. This is weird, but educational, okay? So what happened is there's a ball joint from here to here is a ball joint. And if you hyperextend that, well, actually in any way, I'm, I, I didn't even hyperextend it, literally sit it down. Um, you can see it here. See this? <laughs> uh. Somebody's gonna turn this into a meme, I already know it. Um, but you can see this right here. Well, there's a ball joint right here. And wherever this came from, came from there. And I can get this back in, all right? And I it's, I plugged it back in. So the ball joint's back on there and now it's solid, okay? So, you know, we've seen this with other figures where the joints get loose, um, but that's what happened on this particular one. Oh, there it goes again, it's loose again. So I don't know what part this thing played in it, uh, but I'm definitely, I mean, I've already requested a replacement body anyways, um, but I figured that might help somebody out. So that ball, that, that, uh, abdomen, if you will, uh, if you hyperextend it one way or the other, it might pop out of that ball joint and then you got a problem. So that could be a thing. I will put this thing about together. We're going to get back to posing, but full disclosure, that's a problem. All right, so we got it again posed up, and as you saw earlier, there were some issues with it, and even posing it, that uh, abdomen joint wants to come loose. 100% will need a uh, body replacement from Sideshow, which I 100% expect they will do, good customer service and all. Uh, it's just disappointing on a brand new release figure, which is gonna be, could be, had the potential to be like a flagship um, line for them. And uh, so we'll see how it plays out in the long run uh, when we get into uh, Kenobi. Um, Posing wise, he poses very nicely if he doesn't fall apart. Uh, so if you don't have a broken figure, it should pose well. Uh, the back where the, uh, the Velcro piece doesn't come together, that's, you know, it's, it's it's not a deal breaker. It's just kind of an oversight on their part and they really should have uh, done a better job with that. Uh, I dig the head sculpt a lot. I like the angular lines. I like the the uh, angular lines of the hands and the boots and the uh, the colorations of everything going on. Uh, so overall, uh, I do um, I do like the figure, which um, I you know, and am I slightly biased because I like Clone Wars? Yeah, maybe. 
but well, I think we all know uh, where I stand with calling out BS when uh, when BS exists. And in this case, uh, the body is what let down uh, this particular figure. Uh, the clothing and the articles and the paint applications, everything, uh, I think are acceptable. Uh, the body is a letdown, and the uh, price point is 100% a letdown. But look at this sculpt. I mean, I, I don't really know how you can be mad at that. I don't. Uh, looking at it in 4K as a proper, you know, a proper uh, footage rather than some like 720p or 480p uh, live stream footage, um, it's uh, it's pretty good looking. And uh, I think, you know, as long as they replace the body. Uh, then I'll end up keeping this thing. I think that's kind of where I'm at. I thought about, you know, if it was garbage, I'd just return it. Um, but so far, kind of like it. All right, we've got some other figures up on the display stand, changed up the pose, which to be honest with you, with that separating abdomen, it's a complete nightmare because every time I wanted to move it, it's separated. So very frustrating. But I broke out the animated, I guess the Hot Toys Clone Wars figure from Ahsoka and I brought out Captain Rex because obviously they go together and would they display well together is the question and you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section do they display well together I think yes I do I think they look good now if you were to put the uh the Hot Toys Anakin next to this Anakin definitely not they would knock on the, the same shelf wouldn't work but a helmeted trooper from Hot Toys and this figure and of course the Clone Wars animated Ahsoka they work together, I think, rather well. I don't think the Rosario Dawson Ahsoka would work well with this, but this together, I dig it. And I happen to have two Rexes, and uh, yeah, so that shouldn't really be too much of an issue for me for my display. I think it looks quite fantastic together, and I will 100% be uh, probably posing mine up like this. Now, I I'm going to stop it here in just a second so you guys can kind of take a look at a couple things. And... Stop. Okay, you're going to fall over? No, you're not going to fall over. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Um, but yeah, these guys together, size-wise, I think work. I think there's not much uh, not too much issue with it. I'm meant to go in. Uh, I think the Anakin, uh, obviously taller than the Ahsoka from Hot Toys. That makes sense. A slimmer body, I think, makes sense. And a trooper with thicker armor on, I think, makes sense. And um, yeah, I think it works. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Uh, am I crazy? Am I not? I don't know. Um... But I, I think it looks I think it looks pretty stinking good. So now yeah, we'll do one more pose. I will break out the Obi-Wan on the next video and then we'll pose Anakin and Obi-Wan together. Uh, but this one I just kind of wanted to focus on, on Anakin. And uh, the body has kind of slowed me down in recording and production. So there's that. All right, we got Anakin posed up. This is going to be the final one because I want to talk about the cloak. And I've got him straight up and down. He's literally sitting on the display stand because they kept falling over. Uh, the hip, uh, the abdomen ball joint keeps coming disconnected. Uh, and I have a feeling that little piece is very important that broke. I don't know what it is, but hopefully Sideshow will replace it, which they probably will. Um, the cloak is too long in two spots. Uh, the first one's going to be the arm. I think it's too long there because you can, I mean, his arm's straight down. You can barely see the hand. There's that. Uh, and then the hood. What a pain in the ass the hood is to pose. Uh, it's oversized. A good half inch or so, I think, um, to get it to rest comfortably on top and to make it look, you know, how he had them pulled down. And it's without some uh, blue tack or some double side tape, which I think double side tape is probably a bad idea on a head sculpt, but some blue tack or, or uh, something like that to hold it down. Um, the hood's useless, in my opinion. Uh, the rest of it, like the fabric material is okay. I don't like all the stitch work. Like you can see all that. It's, it's, it's not awesome. Um, but it's not all bad. Uh, other than the uh, the cloak that's too large and other than the body that is completely destroyed and broken uh, out of the box and the hip joints that are loose and the ab tummy tuck, ab ball joint that wants to fall apart when you pose it. Other than that, it looks the part. And so I give Sideshow credit for that. The head sculpt, I think, looks good. It looks like the animated series. It pose, poses up well with the Hot Toys Rex and Ahsoka figures. I, I think it does anyways. You can let me know your thoughts. But the fail here is in the details and, uh, and their, uh, their use of a, you know, a, a body that's just subpar. It's, it's uh, subpar. Um, so where would I rate this value wise? I would spend uh, it, like, and I would feel good about this. I would spend about $150. 
That's that would be about it. Um, I think outside of that, any more than 150, maybe 175. Anything outside of that is you're overpaying, in my opinion. I just don't think the quality is there. Um, and guaranteed long term, if we side show General Grievous is any, you know, uh, uh, future, uh, fortune teller or whatever, um, it, it's, um, you know, it is what it is. You're going to get what you pay for. Does it look good on the shelf? Yeah, it looks good. Looks good on the shelf. So um, as long as Sideshow replaces the body, I plan on keeping mine, even though I overpaid because I paid full retail plus sales tax, plus shipping, plus all, plus, plus, plus all the stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Um, and hopefully Obi-Wan is in better condition. We'll see. But I think he has the same problem in the body. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Come back and check out the Obi-Wan uh, review. We'll do some poses and all that kind of stuff with them together. Um, but if you haven't already checked out a Facebook group, you might want to do that. And if you want to support the channel on Patreon, that would be awesome as well. Uh, links are all that in the description below. And hope you guys have a great one. As always, click what you like. See you next time.